So as we speak, the state of Israel is still weighing in its options. It's trying to forge a strategy on how to respond to the Iranian reprisal or for the attack that took place on Iran's consulate in Damascus. The people in Israel have a pretty simple and appointed question for their prime minister. And the question is this. Where are the hostages that are in the custody of Hamas for the last six months? The Israel-Gaza war has been ongoing since October last year, with just a week-long ceasefire that happened in November last year. And now the Khatri Prime Minister has said that negotiations that are going on to secure a ceasefire and also the return of hostages have hit a big roadblock. He has said that there are limits to what a mediating nation can do. And they can't do much if the two warring parties in this conflict, that is Israel and Hamas, are not willing to compromise to reach some kind of a common ground. The Khatri leader, who has played a key role in securing a ceasefire in November last year that led to the release of 100 Israeli hostages, is now reassessing the role that Khatr has played as a mediator in this conflict. Without naming any political leader, the Khatri prime minister has said that its efforts, that is Khatr's efforts, are being undermined by politicians who are seeking to score brownie points. The Khatri prime minister also said that the ongoing mediation attempts are being misused for narrow political interests. The Khatar's premier has, accused, has been accused by some U.S. lawmakers of favoring Hamas, an allegation that Khatar has outrightly denied. Over 100 Israeli hostages still remain in the custody of Hamas in the Gaza Strip. Hamas has said that its demands are pretty simple. It wants a complete withdrawal of the Israeli troops. And Hamas has said that it also wants a permanent ceasefire. But on the other hand, what Israel is willing to offer is not a permanent ceasefire, but more in the nature of a military pause and it has said nothing about the complete withdrawal of Israeli forces from the Gaza Strip. We are committed to it from this humanitarian point of view. But there are also limits to the role and limits to the ability to which we can contribute to these negotiations in a constructive manner. The state of Qatar will make the right decision at the right time. Thank you. The ceasefire discussions mediated by Qatar in Egypt are being held against the backdrop of a humanitarian disaster in the Gaza Strip. The Palestinians are suffering acute shortages of food, medicine, water, fuel and other essential supplies because Israel has shut off supplies and it has done so for over six months. The head of the United Nations Palestinian Refugee Agency has warned that a man-made famine is tightening its grip on the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip because of the Israeli blockade. Now, Israel's offensive in the Gaza Strip has continued. In a fresh attack, the Israeli airstrikes have hit multiple targets in the besieged Gaza Strip. So while the world is busy talking about the Israel-Iran escalation, Israel has gone ahead and killed 11 Palestinians, including five young children, in yet another instance of bombing that it has carried out in the Gaza Strip. Senior American and Israeli officials are set to hold some kind of a virtual meeting on a potential Rafa offensive that the Israelis have been chomping at the bits for. The Washington wants Israel to opt for an alternative approach instead of a direct invasion into Rafah. This has come at a time when the United Nations chief has warned that Israel's offensive in Gaza has created a humanitarian hellscape. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.